And here's Dre Brown with us from Illinois. Dre, describe the feeling of returning to the field on Saturday. Oh, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, just being, like, on that stage alone, especially after all I've been through with the injuries, is just this amazing opportunity and this even adds to the testimony, you know. What did this uh, time away from for you, the injuries and all that you've been going through off the field, what did that do for you as far as your faith in Christ goes? Did it strengthen it, or was it a little more difficult for you at first to kind of figure out what, what God was trying to do during this time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so before I got hurt, like, I wasn't a believer at all. Um, and people would say, you know, I was just kind of just a good kid, but I didn't really have a purpose. I just thought my purpose was football. So I initially got injured. Uh, I tore my ACL as a freshman early and early. I was 17 years old. I uh, tore it right then. And I was just, I was devastated because it was probably the, that was the first major injury I had. And then, uh, but I, I got over it because, you know, I thought redshirting, you know, a lot of people redshirt, that's fine. And then it, it gets to the season and, like, I'm not playing at all. I'm not traveling. And I just kind of get in a really dark place and I didn't know my purpose because football, that was kind of my idol. that was taken away from me. Sure. And so it was a lot of, a lot of soul searching. So I ended up over that winter break, um, my stepdad, who I wasn't very close with, we kind of just talked about vague things like sports and stuff. Um, I started going to church and, you know, just totally the Holy Spirit. People inviting me to a uh, fellowship of Christian athletes. I started getting plugged in a little bit there. Uh, people were bold enough to invite me. And, yeah, I just started really getting plugged in. And it kind of came down to January where you can either, you know, make a decision. You can go back to your old life of just kind of just wandering around, no purpose. Or you can, you know, take this uh, pursuit with Christ. And I just kind of jumped in. I didn't know what to expect, and so I ended up being baptized uh, in April 2016. A week later, um, Bobby Smith, our, our head coach now, was hired, and a week after that, we started spring football practice. So during spring football practice, I was basically um, first during the starter got hurt. So after I, bap I got baptized, I was like, wow, life's, life's great. You know? um, yeah. That's where I came to Jesus a long time ago, and then I spoke at this FCA banquet, and then about two days later, I tore my other ACL. And that's when kind of my faith became, I guess, my identity because, like, the bad things started happening. You know, I, I had surgery again. I was going to miss another season. So God kind of put me uh, kind of back in fall. He's like, are you doing this for yourself? Are you doing this for me? And after that, I fully just dove in. Um, it was just all about serving Jesus, and, and I'm still serving him today. You know, it hasn't been obviously the easiest, but uh, just that. He's just that constant that I needed in my life, and I'm just grateful that uh, he chose me, that I found him. Now that you're back, and that's a great story, by the way. I love hearing that. But now that you're back on the field, what's the goals now? You, you know, you I know you're a running back, and yet you were playing kickoff and, and kick return coverage, just kind of getting your feet back in back into – being on the field for a football game. So what are the goals now going forward now that you've gotten uh, gotten that itch scratched a little bit, getting back on the field? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still very hungry. Uh, this is just, like you are saying, just the scratch, just the start. So, I mean, I just – right now I'm just practicing as hard as I can. Uh, I'm really starting to get comfortable just playing again because before, I would say three weeks ago, I didn't play football for about – I want to say maybe like a year. Yeah, so from, from April 2016 until uh, probably this September, I haven't played football. So really just getting adjusted to um, football and uh, just, you know, you the moves and the speed and all. And, uh, yeah, working with the scout team, that was great. Um, so working with them was, was great because I could, you know, test myself against, you know, our Big Ten defense. And, uh, yeah, I was just really, really starting to get comfortable and showing, you know, the, the abilities that God has given me. And I think the coaches are taking notice. Nice. Last question for you. I know I, I saw on your Twitter page you were engaged to be married in July. How's engagement life going for you as you prepare to get married next year? Oh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, I, found a, I found an amazing girl actually at this uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes camp. And she actually uh, lived in Champaign, but she went to school in Indiana Wesleyan. And we just hit it off from there. I was like, I had known her forever. And um, I didn't know I was marrying her until probably about uh, May or June, just something that God put on my heart. It's like, you know, why wait? Um, 
know that I can. I know that I can. Uh, I know that I can uh, what's the word? Uh, pursue, I guess, pursue Christ better with her than by myself. I just kind of went for it. Um, asked her dad, and then <laughs> got engaged. So we got the wedding next May. I'm uh, really excited about that, and just excited to do life with her. And I'm glad that uh, God picked her out for me. She's a good one. I need to 